Digivision Network. Mr. Patrick Eder is the Director of Operations at the PPC Limited. In this interview with Digivision Network, he allies the need for the government to leverage on ICT for productivity, not forgetting their projections for 2020. 2019 was for us in this country, it was an election year. Mm. Uh, you know, planning was difficult to start with, so mm. a lot of people did not really see the end of the year, how it's going to look after the election. Mm. So what was important is hoping the year 2019 was going to be fine, but it, it was difficult to plan because the election year, there's a lot of confusion of what the economy, how the economy is going to go, if the current government was to continue, and then if the a new government is going to come and you know how it works here a new government comes with a new idea and they try to change what was existing mm -hmm. but post the election things started happening you couldn't about, um, ppc its operations and visions and of course how much it has impacted the industry and the country as a whole ppc as a company we <laughs> Um, initially, we were more doing uh, ICT, we were also doing uh, medical. Mm -hmm. And it has not changed. What has happened that we have that tried into some additional uh, verticals, mm -hmm. operational verticals mm -hmm. in transport, in power, mm -hmm. and uh, business uh, building service engineering. Mm -hmm. So we, we've moved, expanded. And uh, what if, I, if I look at PPC in the ICT, if you go out and call or this, you know, mention PPC, mm. you will find out that over the more than 25 years we've been in the industry, we are, you know, we we are part of the the players that started driving the IT, IT industry. industry in Nigeria. The IT industry obviously experienced a lot of challenges last year, 2019. Yeah. What are these challenges? Yes, quite a lot of things that uh, you hear people talking about uh, broadband penetration. Yes. The broadband is still not yet there. Mm. The right of way issues for telcos, because oh, the right of way is also a big challenge. Uh, rural telephony, rural communication, rural internet penetration, all are going to ride on the broadband and the right of way issues, then getting the fibers there or the microwave into the rural areas. Yeah. But we still will not get to where we are going if some of those things are not addressed. And then we needed the government that can to yeah. stay, mm. uh, stay there. I'm just seeing some a, a minister that is talking about um, uh, e-government and then talking about DASM development, mm -hmm. penetration, global penetration, mm -hmm. where we need action. What is PPC doing to ensure capacity building and relevant partnership to stay on top of the thing? Okay, so we, we just at the beginning, the, the last uh, part of the year mm -hmm. and the first, which is this January, yeah. we do what we call a strategic planning. We look at what scale we have in-house. We look at the skills we need to develop. Mm -hmm. We look at the skill we need to hire. Uh, first of all, is um, first light of refusal is given to those in-house to to go up. So this is skill plan, development plan for all. The, I've mentioned about five areas. Mm -hmm. We skill development plan to gear towards uh, developing those are in terms of the technical mm -hmm. and the capability, technical capability, mm -hmm. and then the sales and marketing capability of those areas. Okay. We these things are done already, and then at the end of this month, we we'll have a role plan that says, okay, fine, you're we'll going ready for training for. You'll be doing for training for this area, or you'll be for training for this. So you, the staff starts seeing where they are. And then, then we we'll now know where we have it, some gap. Where we say, okay, fine, we need to bring in some uh, new. new people with that right skill to fill in those gaps. Recently, the yeah. federal government just added digital economy to the Federal Ministry of Communications. Yeah. What's your take on that? Well, one good move, I keep saying, action. I know uh, that's in writing. Mm. The action, of course, they have to. One is you hear everybody talking about AI. Then you talk about, the, I mentioned e-government. Yeah. The government uh, platform for infrastructure development is a requirement for living new 
to for grants and loan and all that from the world uh, financial uh, bodies and then you also because it's going to help um, find out or open up a transparent way of managing and monitoring the fund that you're getting from all this industry it's also um, if you have a digital economy yeah. it's a transparent way it will reduce corruption because you can see what you're doing you can easily say, oh, for the policemen in this country, we have 100,000 and they are existing because you do biometric capture. You can easily capture the guys and see, oh, it's not, it's not a fake number. Mm -hmm. They're actually 100,000 or 90,000 policemen. Mm -hmm. So those are the things you say. But maybe by the time we become fully digital economy, mm -hmm. like, you know, adding that is a good move. But when we are fully digital economy, you find that some things, some waste will be caught. Where do we see the IT industry in the next five years? It's difficult. It's an evolving, daily evolving techn system. Technology in ICT is, mm -hmm. is on a daily basis. Okay. Um, if you go for an event today and repeat that same event in six months, you find out that uh, if you take your, your phone, for example, the phones come out, they make two models, three or four models in a year. So mm -hmm. just leave, use that as an example. The industry for me to say five years is a lot of time okay. and so what you say is you are talking about ai if you go to some states in you are there already like mm -hmm. the, the the washington area they're already trying the the mm -hmm. ict if you look at what they've done in china there's ai there are some things and mm -hmm. you know looking at the speed they implement those things the speed people are working day and night mm -hmm. to improve on that so if you say five years uh, for us in Nigeria, yes, we can store five years, we'll probably be AI compliant. Uh, but for other areas, in two years, they will already be AI. Some areas, some, most of those developed countries will already be AI compliant. Thank you very much. It's really nice having you here. Thank you. This is DG Vision Network.